praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, stop overthinking my child and replaying all the failed scenarios of every past mistake that you have ever made. Stop feeding on your self-doubt through the lies of the enemy who is whispering into your ear only to see your downfall and start seeing the good that I have placed within you. Yes, at times you see good in everyone else except yourself, my child, for you are the apple of my eye and I have great plans for your life. Therefore, surrender your worries, your problems, your fears, your pain, your sickness and doubt today to me, my child, because I am Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, that I may wish to empower you this day, that I may guide you, that I may give you new vision that I may give you clarity of mind and open doors that no man can close for you this day. Remember, I am never blind to your tears, nor am I deaf to your prayers, or neither am I silent to your pain, for I see, I hear, and I will deliver you, my child. Maybe even today you feel you've made the biggest mistake of your life. Maybe you feel that you are too old or you're too far gone or you're too far off track. Just know this one thing, my child, that nothing you've done, no mistake that you've ever made or ever will make is greater than the love that I have for you. My blood still cleanses you from all unrighteousness and my grace is sufficient for all those that yield themselves to me daily. For I have grace for every weakness, mercy for every failure and your comeback will be greater than every setback that has come against you when you put your trust in me. If I closed the mouth of lions, if I parted the Red Sea, if I made the sun stood still, if I opened up barren wombs, if I delivered the oppressed and healed all sicknesses and opened prison doors and raised even the dead, then how much more will I even do for you, my child? Never underestimate the power of my love, my child. Never underestimate the time of waiting upon me, for as you wait upon me, I will not only renew your strength, but will strip away all the anger, all the bitterness, all the stubbornness, all the laziness, all the pride and complacency that is within you, that was holding you back from my best. Yes, as you spend time with me, I will teach you to be more loving, more compassionate, more merciful, more patient, more obedient and humble that you may even transform into my image. For it is then no longer you that live, but it becomes I, the hope of all glory that lives within inside of you. I desire for you to be so on fire for me that you will set ablaze each person around you with my love. Satan is afraid of a Christian that never gives up, one that endures to the very end, one that fasts, one that prays, one that reads my word. Yes, he is scared of those that worship me, those vessels that are filled with my spirit and exercise the authority that I have rightfully given unto them. No matter how far you may have fallen and feel ashamed or disappointed with, even with yourself, I am calling you to arise again today and shake off the dust, shake off the guilt, shake off the shame, for my blood is sufficed to cover all sins and guilt. No matter how you are feeling today, even when you are weary, burdened or troubled in spirit, my child, I am only a call away from you, my child. Therefore, call upon me today that I may deliver you from all 
of your troubles. For every bad thing that has happened in your life, know that I have protected you from worse. Allow me to bring healing and freedom to your weary soul this day and help me turn your ashes into beauty. I have good plans for you, but you must learn to trust me. Surrender your burdens. Surrender them all to me today, that I may heal you of body and of spirit today and of soul today. Allow me to come and bring complete healing to you this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. According to Jeremiah 8 verse 22, The Bible tells me, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wounds of my people? In this frightening passage, the prophet Jeremiah refers to Gilead, a region in Israel that was known for its medical balm or healing ointment in the midst of distraction. There was no place of refuge, no place even for the wounded to find rest, to find help or healing. Now the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah lived to see the destruction of Israel and Jerusalem by the invading powers from the north, Assyria and Babylon. The people were being punished for worshipping other gods since the days of Solomon. But they refused to repent. And according to Isaiah chapter 1 verses 4 to 6, it says, Woe to the sinful nation, a people whose guilt is great. For they have forsaken the Lord. They have spurned the Holy One of Israel. Which, why should you be beaten anymore? Why do you persist in rebellion? For your whole head is injured, your whole heart is afflicted. From the sole of your feet to the top of your head, there is no soundness. Only wounds and welts and sores and open sores, not clean or bandaged or soothed with olive oil. For Israel's deep-seated rebellion, God allowed other nations to overtake them. And later, When Jesus came, he did not come as the builder of an ark like Noah did or as a warrior like David did. No, he came as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He came as Jehovah Rapha. He came as a great physician, healing the lame, healing the sick and the blind. And still today, our God heals sicknesses. He delivers the oppressed. He sets the captives free. But still even today, our world persists in rebellion against God and is full of wounds. It is full of swellings. And only in Christ can we be saved and brought back to God and healed. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Heal us, Lord Jesus, of the sicknesses that afflicts all people that are listening today. Heal us that we may also be saved. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, as we call upon you right now in a special way, it is through your power that we were created, that every breath that we take, every morning that we awake, and every moment of every hour that we live under your power. Father, we ask you now to touch us with the same power, for it was created us from nothing. Therefore, you can certainly create us and do a creative miracle today. Fill us with your healing, the power of your spirit. Cast out anything that should not be within us. Mend that what is broken. Root 
out any unproductive cells, open any blocked arteries or veins, and we rebuke any damaged areas, remove all inflammation, and cleanse any infection. Let the warmth of your healing love pass through our bodies by the power of your Holy Spirit to make new any unhealthy areas so that our body will function the way that you created it to function. You'll bring it back. You'll bring it back into perfection right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We know in heaven, Lord, there is body parts available, Lord, for kidneys, Lord, for every organ in the body. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare your healing power that every cancer cell shall be terminated and dissolved and removed from the body, that every tumor shall be dissolved and removed from the body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we, Father, we thank you that you would restore us to full health, Lord, in mind and in body, so that we may serve you for the rest of our life. Oh, Lord, we thank you today that you, Jesus, are a just judge, holy and true, and you are the Most High God, and we give our lives to you willingly today. You hold all power in your hands. You are the mighty one from God who carries the world and is a ruler over all the earth. You, are most blessed one, are the giver of life in you and only you becomes good things. In you is mercy and love. In you is healing of the nations. In you is freedom of worry, freedom of pain. Lord Almighty, you loved us so much that you were sent from your Father, sent to save us from destruction. We truly can never make it to heaven without the help of you, Jesus, for you are the Son of God. You were sent to this earth to help us, to deliver us and set us free. We thank you that you've sent us the Holy Spirit also to heal and deliver and to set free. Oh Lord, that you are full of mercy and grace today. Please forgive us of all of our faults. Lord Jesus, in you, all healing is performed. You, Lord, are the miracle worker. In your spirit, your gift of healing is alive. In you, Lord, we can put our trust that you can heal us and protect us from the enemy and death of our souls. And Lord, our miracle worker, Lord, that you would create a miracle for the sick and for all lost souls. And Lord, forgive us and save us from condemnation. You cleanse us and make us born again. Again. That's right, new and born again. And you give us a cleansed heart full of peace, the Lord of our light. And in you do we put our trust. Lord, in you is all truth. You are the way, the way to heaven's hope. Yes, your hands, Lord, created the universe. The Lord are the true giver of life. And every miracle and every child is a miracle from your heart. We thank you that you will wrap us with a close closeness of your arms. Lord, help us to put our trust in you because you, oh Lord, are the great physician. You heal, you protect, you care, you love, you are kind, you are patient, you are thoughtful, you are our strength. You, Lord, are our creator. You know our thoughts, you know our sightings, you know our cryings and every hair on our head. You are wonderful and you make all things good according to your perfect timing, according to your perfect will. Heavenly Father, I pray, release your Holy Spirit upon each person listening today. Revive their spirits, deliver them today, set them free, heal them today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel that you may get daily updates to encourage you in your Christian walk of intimacy 
with our Lord Jesus Christ. Intimacy with His Word, intimacy with His Spirit, and intimacy with our Father in heaven. So God bless you and get ready. We've got an up and coming three day fast. Remember every month, I encourage you to partake of that. That will come also in July. Be blessed today. So from my family to yours, we love you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.